guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you my February homeschooling update. You guys, this month definitely has had its highs, but we also have had our lows in February. Uh, we definitely was on a struggle bus a little bit, especially towards the end of this month. So I cannot wait you guys to share with you my homeschooling update and let's go ahead and get right on into this video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, three, and two. I'm in my second year of homeschooling. So you guys, let's go ahead and talk about our biggest high. February is Black History Month, and we actually thoroughly enjoyed ourselves with all of our studies that we did in Black History. Our main focus was people in science and in the arts. And my daughter, she really enjoyed all of the resources that I picked out for her, and I really feel like it was all worth just all of the research and the time that I spent in picking out our books and choosing everything. My daughter, she just really enjoyed it. She actually came in here as I was taking taking down her uh, black history art uh, today as I'm making way for us to get started in our next unit uh, for the remainder of our school year. She was actually kind of sad and she said, mommy, I just don't want it to be over. And I promised her that as we continue throughout our school year and our homeschooling journey, we will still take out that time to highlight different black influences and voices within our homeschool. So you guys, Brielle, she actually did an awesome job. She made this uh, really beautiful uh, portrait portfolio where she took her time in all the people that she really was inspired or influenced by. She actually wrote a bibliography about them. So not only did we get an opportunity to study about all these amazing black voices and influences, my daughter actually had an opportunity to work uh, more on bibliography writing. Uh, we actually edited and went through all of her uh, writing assignments and she has all of her final drafts in here. So I'm going to show a few of them to you guys. Here goes uh, the one she made on Charles R. R. Drew. And she did an awesome job, you guys, on these. She double spaced them and she wrote it very neatly. We, she wrote a bibliography on Katherine Johnson. And again, she double spaced it and she wrote it so neatly. She also wrote a bibliography on Betsy Coleman. Here goes the second page. And the last bibliography she wrote about was Misty Copeland. And she really enjoyed us studying about Mitzi Copeland. Um, Mitzi Copeland was a person that we study in our arts category. And you guys, she really enjoyed it because uh, as we were studying each of these uh, black voices and influences in American history, uh, I took out the time to find a YouTube video. Uh, we were listening to different people's music and we were watching uh, Mitzi Copeland dance and she really enjoyed that aspect of learning. Um, so yes, we enjoyed all the books, all the resources, all the things. If you guys wanna check out everything that I did use, I will go ahead and link in the iCards are my Black History Month video that I made where I showed all of the resources that we did use for uh, this month of February. So again, like I said, you guys, that definitely was our highlight for this month. Now, as far as reading goes, you guys, we actually, our read aloud for the month of February was Gone Crazy in Alabama. I originally wanted to read Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry. However, I really want to do a novel study with that one. So I went ahead and pulled off my shelf Gone Crazy in Alabama to continue our series as we've read One Crazy Summer last year. So we didn't make it as far in this book as I wanted to. However, I'm not upset or uh, surprised just because we were reading so many other pictures picture books and our encyclopedias and things like that. So I don't mind that we kind of skimped off on the read aloud this <laughs> this month. So uh, we didn't even make it like quarter of the way through this book. So this book right here will just continue in the month of March. Now, as far as independent readers, you guys, you always ask me like, what is Brielle reading? What is she enjoying? And I plan on making a separate video showing you guys Brielle's bookshelves, all the books that I have on there, the books that she's read, what she's enjoyed, the series, 
and everything like that. But as far as now, I'm going to share with you guys the series that she is reading and completing right now, which was um, Love Like Sky. She completed this book earlier in the month. And of course, I had to go out and buy her the second book in a series, which was Forever This Summer. You guys, these books are actually personal narratives about a little girl named Peaches. It talks about her struggles as she has a new blended family dynamic. It also shows her overcoming a, a illness. And I really enjoy Brielle reading about these personal narratives um, just because it's really not just giving her all the frills, the fairy tales, the happy endings, but she's seeing all these different family dynamics, um, different uh, dynamics as far as dealing with uh, sickness in the family. And she's able to really read about these social um, issues in an age appropriate way. And I love her to read about these personal narratives, these struggles, and seeing how these characters overcome. And at the end of the day, you guys, I know she thoroughly has enjoyed this series. She told me she's given them four stars because uh, this one right here, Forever Like Summer, every single night. Again, you guys, mommy, can I stay up 30 more minutes? Mommy, can I read one more chapter? And she does it over and over again, but um, I can't stop her from reading. So I just always let her read some more. She, Brielle does her independent reading at night um, just because I find that that's an easier time to add in more reading. We read throughout the day in our homeschool. So um, I kind of like separating it. So that is considered her independent reading time. But right now, you guys, it's really just something she uh, ultimately does for fun. Now, as far as curriculum highlights, you guys, um, it definitely has been Saxon math for uh, Brielle. You guys, like, I wish I would have tried Saxon math sooner. It just has clicked with her. Um, she is thriving in math, and I don't think I've seen her thrive this well in math since we started our homeschooling journey. She did very well with a Becca Arithmetic 3 last year. However, this fourth grade year kind of was like <laughs> hit and miss trying to find that curriculum that was going to work for her. But uh, once we have started Saxon, I feel like uh, this one is definitely a keeper. I don't know if I'm still in my honeymoon phase. I might still be, but I really can say um, it's been almost two months and I haven't had any tears in math. And that definitely is a big thumbs up and a big good sign in my homeschool because uh, there definitely has been tears shed when it comes to math. Math is just not my daughter's favorite subject. Um, she struggles a little bit when it comes to understanding and starting off the concepts. However, uh, once she got it, I mean, that girl, she has it. So. Um, I'm just really happy for Saxon. Nicole, the math lady has been uh, great, you guys. It definitely has been a great tool for me. It's given my daughter the independence that she's searching for when it comes to taking ownership over her homeschool. And it's also allowing me that flexibility and that freedom to be able to work more one-on-one -on -one with my toddler. So uh, yes, yeah, Saxon math, Nicole, the math lady, I'm in love. I cannot wait you guys to do our uh, month review on Saxon. That video will probably be the next one you guys see. So I cannot wait to share with you guys in details, just everything about Saxon, the pros, the cons, just everything. Now, as far as uh, my toddlers, now that we're talking about them, I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and share with you her, our curriculum highlights for them, which has been playing preschool. You guys, I thoroughly love playing preschool. This just really has been the perfect preschool curriculum that I have added into our homeschool. I love it. It's easy. It's open and go. I mean, it's ready for me. The only thing I have to do is go to the library and pick out the literature books for our unit and uh, we are good to go and also to get the supplies and then we're good to go. Um, I recently made a video about playing preschool with Christy from These Little Sprouts. Christy, she showed uh, playing preschool year two and I highlighted playing preschool year one and uh, we just did a we did a do a lesson with me. So if you guys wanna see like more details about how playing preschool works, the inside, uh, how the curriculum actually flows, you can go ahead and check out those videos and I'll link those down below as well. But we finished our colors unit and it was so much fun. All of this art right here that you guys see behind me is actually all of my preschoolers art that they did this month and I really enjoyed it. I know the colors unit should have only taken us two weeks. However, I'm still kind of getting my footing when it comes to the scheduling 
and the timing to do play in preschool. We do play in preschool between two to three times out the week three times really being my happy medium spot when it comes to preschool. And I think I kind of just need to take it. I mean, it is what it is. I'm still balancing uh, trying to incorporate another uh, homeschooling student in my homeschool. So I think, you know, slow and steady, it always uh, wins the race. So um, I definitely want to continue out uh, our year using playing preschool. We are going to be doing our nursery rhyme unit. So I'm really excited to start that one. Now, something else that my preschooler has been enjoying, Leia, she's been enjoying these huge N Melissa and Doug activity pads. I went ahead and I bought the set of three. This one just highlights colors and shapes. And because we were doing our colors unit, this was a really good addition to our homeschool. And you guys, these little worksheets, they are so stinking cute. Um, she's able to put the sticker at the bottom and uh, she's able to identify each of the items and count. And my daughter, she loves doing these every day um just going over the different colors as we went over the colors in the unit and um i'm really happy that i got all of these uh these activity pads and i think she's definitely going to enjoy continuing doing all of the sheets and everything like that but i really uh like doing those ones with her i also use those as an opportunity to work on her number skills her number sense counting the, the different objects identifying the different objects on the page so that was a really quick way for me to add in some like worksheet work for her uh leia she is going to be four on the 28th of this month so as we are going into um august you guys i will officially have a preschool or a pre k -er. so this is going to be her last year before kindergarten so i really want to uh show her and carve out that extra time for her it definitely has been a balancing act but um i think i'm doing okay so far but i do want to get more consistent when it comes to leia and showing her uh, she is a part of our homeschool and slowly add in little activities like a uh, worksheet based activities along with um, playing preschool now you guys, let's go ahead and get on into the matters of the heart which we have had several this month. Um, without disclosing too many details and potentially embarrassing my daughter, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the characters that I had to pull out from our September and Co cards. And I think that this, these characters that I explained will kind of speak for itself. So we used a lot of the characters matters this month from the characters matters in the home set. You guys, I love these Character Matters cards. They're so amazing. And this was really a good resource for me to pull out. So the first character that we went over thoroughly this month has been Respect. I love the way these cards are laid out because it just tells you the definition of respect. So it says respect is showing honor for other people. And it has, it has like a little uh, section where you do like a, a affirmation where you say how can I be more respectful and then you have your kids memorize it so they'll say I can have good manners I can do for others what I want them to do for me and it also has a memory verse that I am um, having my daughter memorize so respect has been a big character we've been going over in our household this month we also have been going over thoroughly teachability and the September and Code defines teachability as learning from others without thinking I know better. And it says the opposite of teachability is stubborn. And it, again, it has affirmations. How can I be more teachable? I can remember I do not know everything. I can be a good listener. I can remember that others have valuable wisdom and I cannot be proud. And it closes off and it closes off each character with again another memory verse. So these were the two character matters in the home that we have been going over this month. Two other character matters we've been going over, which is the purple deck that's in the Bible. I don't have it right now because it's downstairs in our morning basket. We have been going over kindness and we also have been going over compassion this month. So with that all being said, that's a lot. So um, definitely we have had to take away technology and privileges punishments have happened this month because of these character traits and things we've been going over consistently in our homeschool and of course when you are having problems when it comes to um, parenting of course it always trickles into the homeschool and it just it was just some days you guys that I just had to close the books for the day and just you know walk away and kindly go over we will go over our character 
and I will explain, you know, what was going on and, and just let it go. At the end of the day, you guys, I want to do my best to preserve my relationship with my daughter as she is getting older and she's getting into this preteen age. I want to, uh, I want to, um, hold that relationship very dear. I want to be very fragile with it because at the end of the day, uh, it doesn't matter what she learns in our homeschool. I want to have a good relationship with my daughter, with all of my daughters, um, and that is my primary focus. So um, we may not have gotten as much done as I wanted to academically this month. However, I really feel like we have hit home on some matters of the heart. Um, you guys, I'm so grateful for my husband. He has definitely stepped in and he has definitely uh, shown his support when it comes to uh, just these parenting moments. And although he is working throughout the day, supporting us and supporting you know, our family, he definitely has taken the time to help me when it has come to these matters of the heart. I really hope that these matters, they are solidified and they stick and you know, we will have a better month moving forward. However, um, it is what it is, you guys. And if you guys are going through like some parenting struggles, matters of the heart, you're not the only one. Um, I really don't have all the advice to give to how to deal with it. I just pray and ask God to help me. And I just take these things one matter at a time. Again, my relationship with my daughter is far more important than her getting her day's lesson done. And hopefully by me remembering that in my heart, um, we will continue to, uh, I guess, build this relationship that we have with one another and continue to work together uh, in our homeschooling journey. Now, with that being said, I am going to start allowing my daughter to have far more independence when it comes to accountability and her schoolwork. As we are ending off our semester, you guys, I am going to just pretty much give my daughter, do I have one down here? I don't think I do, but I made my daughter a list of everything that she needs to complete for the entire week. And I'm going to give her full ownership of her week and just allow her to be able to practice that independence. As we get into uh, her next year of homeschooling, a lot of her work, you guys, is going to be independent. I cannot wait to share with you guys my curriculum picks <laughs> for her, for um, her, I should say her next homeschooling year. Um, I think I'm gonna make that video next week. So you guys will probably see it in the next couple of weeks. You will see our curriculum picks, uh, but you will notice that most of her curriculum she will be using is gonna be independent. And um, I'm gonna give her that opportunity to take ownership as she gets older. And um, not so much to be all down our throat because I, I, like I said before, I wanna preserve our relationship. And if giving her more independence and allowing her that space and that freedom to do her work at will is going to preserve our relationship then that those are going to be the steps that i'm going to take so as we end off the year hopefully i can get my daughter especially when it comes to like her math her english spelling the things that i know she can do on her own i will allow her to be able to do all those things on her own and she can just come to me when she needs me to grade and go over those assignments so um yeah so you guys i really hope you enjoyed my update i know it wasn't like the the happy updates that I always bring, but you guys, this is life and I try my best to be open and honest about our months. And I love sharing these updates with you guys because I really hope that it can show you guys that even though you see all these beautiful Instagram reels and these beautiful day in a life videos, uh, you are still only seeing the highlights. Um, and I want to use my platform as a way to show you guys that yes, we do have highlights here in our homeschool, but we do uh, have struggles as well. So you guys, in the comments down below let me know how your homeschooling has gone have you hit the february slump are you uh going full force as you are ending off your school year just let me know you guys thank you so much for watching today's video and as always i look forward to seeing everybody in my next one bye mm -hmm.